I do my ministry along with friends who join our social foundation, the Dondas Foundation. So I serve not only Catholic people who are usually in a Catholic parish. I work in a very fluid region, reaching out to all the poor people of different religions, tribes, and races. Therefore, the attention to the overseas, the migrants and those who are victims of trafficking also has a different pattern. I can describe it as follows. The number one is the community of children of the migrant workers that we are accompanying on Sumba Island are children from families who have experienced domestic violence and various types of domestic violence because their parents work abroad. The candidate of migrant workers abroad who are victims of mafia networks of human trafficking. Number three, former migrant workers who return to Sumba Island but experienced many injustices, including those who lost their jobs and could not return to their own hometowns. And number four, many of them die at work, whether abroad or on another domestic islands. We have to help accompany their families to take care of the bodies of these family members in order to return to their homes. Most of these migrant workers come from poor villages or poor families. It is a shame that most of them are low educated. So their ability, their ability and skills to be used in the workplace are very poor. Therefore, the chance of getting violence from their employer are also very high. There are many reasons why someone wants to go abroad as a migrant workers. Some of them are want to find a better paying job. The reason behind this is the poverty that is rocking many people on this island. Many also go as migrant workers abroad because they are told and sometimes forced by their families to cope with the many families' deaths. The burdens of death eventually force one to have to go looking for work in the hope of getting a better salary. Many also go looking for work on another islands or abroad because of being caught up in the mafia of cheap labor seekers. They are the victims of human trafficking. We strive to do the following to help them, among others. So, what are we doing for and with them? For example, accompany children who are victimized because their parents go to work long distances. They are generally left to their grandmother or grandfather or their uncle. <clears throat> Many experience violence from grandmother or grandfather or uncle where they are kept. We form communities of migrant workers' children. They are gathered regularly to study together, exploring their talents and abilities creatively. They are trained to be more confident by generating all the positive energy that is in them. Some creative communities began to successfully 
process plastic waste into book covers, lamp decorations, etc. These children also have dance workshops, poetry, speech workshops, etc. They also developed organic pilot gardens and environmental clean groups. He also strive to a campaign for job search pathways abroad that are safe and legal. These campaigns are usually made from community to community by watching movies, having discussions, and making more open and escortable deals for the long term. This campaign is usually made together with local district and village governments. For those who are fired by their employer in a far away place or abroad and have difficulty returning to their hometown, then we must try to form a donation together with friends from other humanitarian networks in cooperation with the State Department that takes care of the Indonesian migrant workers so that they can be returned to their homeland. Similarly, in some cases where migrant workers died abroad, as recently we tried to help recover the body of a migrant worker who died in Malaysia. Because he died in the pandemic period, the matter of returning his body remains was long. It took 27 days. Usually we give services up to the funeral ceremony. We also try train many former or prospective migrant workers with skills to manage what can be managed and developed around them. For example, developing organic horticultural gardens and weaving activities. Another activity to open jobs is to start a mini factory managing cocoa, coffee, and queso beans. Some of our production centers are open in villages, especially in places where the number of migrant workers are still high. So, our services are more integrative, holistic and inclusive. One aspect of the phenomenon of sticking out cases of migrant workers must be handled from a variety of dimensions. As such, we expect that the positive impact of our service will be fruitful for the long term and sustainable. And as a redemptorist, I experienced that. In the victims of migrant workers, including their children, Christ the Redeemer expressed himself very strongly. And at the same time, he called us to take full part in his liberation mission. And the powerful narratives of Saint Alphonsus Maria de Ligori are encomposed in the inspiration of the manger, the cross and the altar. And now we need to translate more boldly to the wounded realities that come brightly before our eyes. Thus the solidarity and proclamation of the liberation of the cross is the character of solidarity and the mission of our liberation. Christ's divisive generosity and dividing himself in the Eucharist should also urge us to always be more willing to share life, especially 
with those in suffering.